I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Paldeum Tauros. Bullfighting has existed for almost as long as human civilization. One of our oldest recorded stories, the Epic of Gilgamesh, features the hero testing his mettle against a raging bull, and Heracles himself captured the Cretan bull as one of his labors. From ancient sacrificial practices, through the Roman Empire and animal contests in its colosseums, the spectacle of men fighting bulls lives on in Spain and its former colonies to this day. This practice is barbaric. My own homeland of the UK only banned fox hunting within my lifetime, and movement towards a ban on lethal bullfighting has been ongoing for some time. I can admit to the appeal of an idealized version of ancient Greek warriors wrestling with muscular black bulls. But we don't live in the world of Monster Hunter. These aren't terrible beasts that threaten the village, but innocent animals bred just to die. Many have accused Pokemon of glorifying animal abuse over the years, but this is a fictional world of sentient magical creatures who enjoy the sport. In our real world, with animals that show only pain and fear and rage, it must stop. Tauros, the normal type bull Pokemon with an aggressive disposition, and the tail which it can use to whip itself into a frenzy, was a natural candidate for appearing in the Paldea region, and we got a brand new fighting type Paldean form of the monster, with a black mane and large muscular neck, like a Spanish fighting bull. Pokemon Scarlet tells us, This Pokemon has a muscular body, and excels at close quarters combat. It uses its short horns to strike the opponent's weak spots. And Pokemon Violet says, This kind of Tauros, known as the combat breed, is distinguished by its thick, powerful muscles and its fierce disposition. This fierce disposition was on display in the games, where Tauros was very aggressive in charging at the player. Early in the game, when wild Pokémon were a threat to my team, moving near a herd of Tauros was actually quite dangerous. Those herds are worth paying attention to for another reason as well. In Pokémon Scarlet, hidden among the combat breed, we may see the occasional Blaze breed Tauros. When heated by fire energy, its horns can get hotter than 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Those gored by them will suffer both wounds and burns. These Pokémon are fire and fighting type, as evidenced by their taller mane, which spikes up like a flame, or an anime haircut, and features streaks of red. Pokémon Violet tells us, People call this kind of Tauros the Blaze Breed, due to the hot air it snorts from its nostrils. Its three tails are intertwined. The three tails are coiled like a rope, perhaps to resemble a candle wick as this is fire type, or perhaps to resemble a thicker whip that might be used as a weapon as this is fighting type. In Pokemon Violet, a fourth form of Tauros is instead hiding among the combat breed, the Aqua breed. Pokemon Scarlet tells us, This Pokemon blasts water from holes on the tips of its horns. The high pressure jets pierce right through Tauros' enemies. These are the relatively rare type combination of fighting and water, with a mane which sags like an animal that has been doused with a bucket. Pokemon Violet tells us, It swims by jetting water from its horns. The most notable characteristic of the Aqua breed is its high body fat, which allows it to float easily. As well as the horns and body fat, Aqua Breed Tauros' tail also spiral out like a fan, spinning to propel through the water like those of Weasel or Tails from Sonic. These three new Paldean forms of Tauros also have a slightly different spread of stats from the original Cantonian. They trade a little speed in some of their already low special stats for an even higher physical attack. 
Along with the more interesting types, this makes for some fearsome monsters. Bullfighting in the real world must stop, as should all cruelty to animals. With Pokemon, I hope people all over the world can enjoy the thrill of monster battling, while learning to love and respect all the creatures of the Earth. Tauros was designed by Shigeki Morimoto. Paldean Tauros was designed by James Turner. Original music for this podcast is by Jonathan Cromey. Artwork is by Katie Groves. Funding is provided by listeners at patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. For just a dollar a month, supporters can listen to episodes a week early, and also help cover hosting and fees, making it possible for me to keep making episodes every week. I love hearing from listeners. Get in touch about upcoming Pokemon on Twitter or Facebook at LukeLovesPKMN, drop a comment if you're watching the video, or a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Coming up are Zorua and Mingino, so please get in touch about those or any other monsters. Even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Tauros, and remember, I love you too.